Nicholas is five years old. He has cerebral palsy. Um, he'll be going to kindergarten this year with an assistant. And he uses an alpha talker communication device. Um, we're still learning how to use it because he has um, problems controlling his movements. Uh, but we're working on it. This is a toy that we've adapted to work from a single switch. And the reason we do that is many toys have very small on-off switches that a child with a disability often can't turn on and off. This allows him to activate it himself. And this is a fan with a foam blade, so it doesn't hurt him. But we still recommend the parents work with them. Um, he's pressing the switch to activate the toy. Now he's motor skills need some um, training, and he is training himself to hit the switch, and with practice, we'll get better. Uh, consistency, um, because that is going to be very important with his alpha talker. Um, also, the cause and effect, he needs to, he got it. <laughs> um, so for some children, it's very hard to understand that if you hit the switch, the, the toy is going to move. So that was another goal. Now I'm holding the switch on the tray. Uh, normally we'd have it mounted with Velcro or stabilized some way so it wouldn't be moving around, but in this case I'm just holding it on. Make sure you go around. Good job. catalogs, you know, from the special vendors, and it's, it's outrageous. Um, one toy could cost fifty, sixty dollars, and it just because it's been adapted for a switch. Um, the good thing about here is they, they taught us how to get a regular toy from like Toys R Us or just any toy store and adapt it ourselves for, you know, a couple dollars, which is great. 